Welcome back. We have some breaking news for you this morning. The FBI is now releasing new details about Alex Croft. He was the man that they arrested on Tuesday after it came to light that he had plans to assassinate the president. An FBI spokesman told the press the plot was slowed down largely because of Croft's fears that the assassination would seem racist, when in fact he meant it to have nothing to do with President Obama's skin color. Now, we understand that the FBI was tipped off in part by a videotape that Croft himself had made and distributed to major media outlets. We have a section of that tape to show our viewers right now. I will personally destroy Barack Obama, and it's not because he's African-American. It's because of his socialist policies. Look, my sister's married to a black guy. It's not a black and white thing. And then he went on to list all of his other African-American friends. In the small town of Hewitt, Vermont, Croft's neighbors are all expressing astonishment this morning, saying that Croft was quiet and mostly kept to himself, except when encountering a black person, when he would become exceedingly chatty, going so far as to invite complete strangers to hang out. Today Now's very own Jane Carmichael is right now standing by live in Washington, D.C. with the latest details for us. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. Well, Jane, tell us about this anti-government militia group he tried to get to help him. These guys seem pretty scary. Yes, but apparently they turned Croft down because they were, quote, a little uncomfortable with some of the language Croft was using. They come to one of our meetings and says, Obama must be killed. He's got a dark soul. And everyone was like, whoa, what does that mean, dark soul? And he's all like, nah, nah, that's not what I meant, but... Uh, I gotta tell you, it just didn't sit right with me. Now, the FBI is saying Croft actually actually conceived and then abandoned several plans to kill President Obama. That's right. Um, Croft's journal revealed that he had ruled out explosives for fear it might conjure up memories of the racially motivated Birmingham church bombings, mm -hmm. and he discounted using a gun because... Martin uh, Luther King. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, mean, I see. Ultimately, to allay all suspicions of racism, Croft decided to shoot the president with a crossbow with a list of important black historical figures taped to the arrow. But the FBI apprehended Croft by he was parked outside the White House in a car, blasting Sly and the family stone. Well, thanks for being with us, Jane. Thank you. Now, Croft has also released a statement through his lawyers today, and I quote, it's Obama who should be in prison, not me, but I don't mean all black people belong in prison. I mean just him. Well, unless you've committed a crime, I mean it should be equal, end quote. And that's the latest on that. Well, later in the hour, we'll have details on how you can enter to win a date with Jim Haggerty for your 18-year-old daughter.